Hi everyone, so I'm back with another adaptation video and this one is again one that I think is absolutely excellent but unlike all the other ones I've done so far and every book that's on the challenge that I'm going to read next year this is a non-fiction adaptation and it is an absolutely fabulous read it is a absolutely fabulous film you know ticks the boxes every, uh, every single category um <laughs> that you can think of um for me and it is zodiac by robert gray smith um now zodiac um it covers the period in the late 1960s early 1970s um in which the Zodiac killings took place. Um, in case you don't know about it, the Zodiac killer was um, a serial killer from the um, San Francisco area who, well, he claimed that he killed nearly 40 people, but in reality that we know that there have been seven victims and two of them actually survived. Um, so five um for certain but as to the claim of the other victims we will never never know so robert worked at a newspaper as a cartoonist at the time that the zodiac killings um took place and the zodiac killer would send um cryptic codes to the newspapers and demand that it get put on the front page um for the people to um to, to figure out basically to, to break the code to find out the message behind it in which he claimed that he would said um, who he was going to kill next where he was going to kill people etc um, and the newspapers had to had to print it because you know it, it, it was the situation they were caught in the police said that they had to comply to try, try and figure it out etc and it began Robert's obsession with this this killer. He, as he says, you know, in the film that he he always enjoyed puzzles. He has to know the answer, so it leads him on this voyage to find who on earth this guy is. Either he absolutely becomes obsessed with it, but because he has to know the truth, and it's absolutely an enthralling read, really, really thrilling book um and the film um directed by david uh fincher is he was absolutely brilliant brilliant guy um stars uh jake jin hall as as um as our main character now i have to say this is one of the best 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 adaptations of a true crime book that i have ever seen because of the level of detail that's in it. I mean, for the fact that um, the two victims who survived um, the, uh, the, you know, the terrible um, crime, the, 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 the things that were done to them by, by the Zodiac Killer, plus there were witnesses for other killings as well. Every single one of them described the Zodiac Killer in a different way. So for the film, they cast different men to play the Zodiac Killer for every single crime scene so that they would all look different um even though obviously they were disguised in a certain way if you if you watch the film you'll, you'll know like at one for one of them he actually made a, a sort of outfit for himself that he wore so that he could attack them in daylight but nobody would know who he was that kind of thing um so another one's it's at night and he's in shadow or he's you know in the back of a taxi and stuff like that um so you can't see him properly um but to go to that level of detail of casting different people to play the zodiac killer just so that they would all be different is absolutely amazing and the if you compare you know the people what they looked like the way that they talked um the you know the the writing that the zodiac killer all of the cryptic code everything my god there was so so much um contents in this film it was unreal i i i kind of sat there with my mouth open i, I just i couldn't believe it um and okay there was a sequence that was not in the book and i was a bit like oh okay you've just added that just for a creepiness kind of effect um in which um robert's gone to this house um to talk about a guy who he thinks it might be about how he was a protectionist at 
a kind of cinema um, place and is is featured in the trailer and he's like, oh, is there someone in the house? Because he can hear floorboards creaking up above, but that's not in the book at all. Um, but other than that, <laughs> they, you know, they've stuck to it and, and it's also, you know, it covers his relationships with um, his son, his his wife, um, his colleagues and, and such and how it completely takes hold of him. And what he finds out about the these terrible, um, horrific killings along the way, and trying to figure out who on earth is the Zodiac killer, um, yeah, it it's it is just top notch entertainment. I went to see this with my dad, um, and we just sat there for the whole <laughs> the whole time, just not not even look at each other, just staring at the screen for the entire time. I just couldn't take your eyes off it. Didn't want to, you know, get out, get up and go to the loser or anything part way through the film because I didn't want to miss any of it. It was absolutely brilliant. And this um, one that I've got, this two disc director's cut of the DVD, has this um, special um, disc that just looks at the the killings and it's all told from it goes on for abs i think it's a few hours actually um it goes on for um yeah a few hours and it's all the detectives who you know actually uh, investigated the case and everything and they're you know it's an absolute brilliant brilliant documentary if you're interested in true crime um stuff that this case is one of the most fascinating um cases that that has been around um about trying to track a, a serial killer um so it is it is is a really really great great read and a fantastic film really entertaining the time flies by like that it, it's you know i'm so enthralled by it um so yeah zodiac the uh you know, as I said, non-fiction book. I'm not going to be reading any of them in 2016. Um, but yeah, I think uh, 2017, first on the list will probably be Zodiac. Um, <laughs> but if um, if you've seen it, if you want to leave any comments, let me know what you think of it. Um, please do. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic, fantastic film. Um, so yeah, and that is Zodiac. So... I will, uh, I'll be back with you uh, soon with uh, another adaptation review slash recommendation and then I'm going to start because there's, there's some ones that were really bad. The ones I've done so far have been either, I've either said excellent or good um, and then I've got another one that I want to, I want to talk about um, that I'm going to do next and then I think I should start on some bad ones um so yeah stick around for um the, for those and i will be back soon <laughs>